I don't know. What's up, guys? How's it going? We were just discussing alley dock parking and how many real life scenarios we actually need to use that in. And, uh, you know, one of the instructors told me like three, about three a day or something. Now we were talking about <laughs> truck stops and how, um, you know, back back and in, we could just be straight line back in. So, who knows? We'll know, we'll know in the future. <laughs> But uh, is it day nine? Day nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Yeah, day nine. nine. Number nine. So it was fun shit. Um, on the road today, did really well. Killed it. Got like awesomes. Fucking all down my fucking chart and shit. The only thing I need to improve on is my traffic light or traffic check. I like go over through intersections. So you're supposed to check. Eight to ten seconds, your mirrors left, right. Then you're supposed to check intersections before the intersections. You're supposed to check crosswalks, uh, the road itself, and like any pedestrians, uh, bike lanes, things like that. You're supposed to check it before, during your passing through the intersections, and after. And also uh, over railroad crossings before, during, and after as well. And Eight to ten seconds, you're supposed to look at your mirrors. Yeah. Or every eight to ten seconds, you're supposed to. Every eight to ten seconds. Oh, I think you're meaning. No, like, you don't look stare. At, at you. That's why. Don't stare at your mirrors. That's extremely unsafe. Don't, don't stare it's at your like, mirrors. Like, I'm not looking at the mirror. <laughs> that was what two seconds? I scared. I was scared for my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was petrified. I was petrified. Um, yeah, dude. So, and every time you shift, you're supposed to do like a quick mirror check. Shift. Boom, boom. Shift. Shift? Yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna fucking need a new fucking neck. <laughs> right. Rubber goose in that shit. <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. But yeah, the road was fun. Got a lot of shit. Went, went like all over the fucking place. I don't know where the fuck we went. We you realize, place. sorry, but, sorry to interrupt, but realize from going from a stop position. Before you even like fucking finish entering the intersection, you're I'm like I'm doing that. I swivel. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because it's you're in sixth, seventh gear by the time you actually get to a like thirty miles an hour. That's what my instructor wants. Yep. Uh, yep. So you're like third. You start at third. You know, fourth. You're like boom, boom, back. Fifth, boom, boom. Flip up the switch. Six. Boom, boom. What if you... Seven. What if boom, you boom. shift in the middle of you looking? <laughs> <laughs> Does this count for bolts? Uh, anyway, sorry to uh, get off track. Crazy. Yeah, today we pretty much did the same thing as we mentioned yesterday. The uh, driving in the morning. Alley. Uh, driving in the morning and then uh, like he did alley today. Yesterday he did offset. Hard did that shit, nigga. And I did alley yesterday, and I did offset today, and it was kind of annoying. Um, but yeah. Don't know, gang signs, dude. Yeah, no. Uh, Respect the Nate Diaz. There's certain trucks that they have, which they have eaten. They have these, these albino trucks that are from Alaska that are like broken down fucking retarded midget trucks. They, uh, they, re <laughs> they require a lot of like force to hold down the clutch. And when you're going reverse, you're holding down the clutch so you don't shoot backwards. And but you're supposed to let it out, right? If you're on a steady, like a steady pace. Right. Um, but when you're trying to do slow turns, slow trying to learn it, to, like turns when you're coming back and you're trying to get it like center, you know, right. and you want to stop it, so you you know you, you have to you have to like fan the clutch a little bit just to get it like rolling a little bit. All you can say is my clutch leg is toned. <laughs> We're just getting there. It's Doing like leg presses with one leg. Right. Felt like Quagmire walking out of his house after he found internet yeah. porn. Right. Quagmire, we haven't seen you in a while. Oh. And uh, and those white trucks and stuff. Those goats? Yeah. There's a fucking farm of goats. Yeah. I didn't know that. Go goat tipping. Yeah. <laughs> so. That was, yeah, that was fun. But uh, here the white trucks are shitty. So basically what the white trucks are um, is people 
you know, start out and they don't know how to shift, right? That's normal. Throw, they throw them in those trucks, so they beat the fuck out of the clutches and the gearbox, and they're all just torn up. And then once you, like, you know, next, the, like a week into it, or once the instructor feels comfortable that you're not, like, slamming into gears and, like, grinding the fuck out of them, then he puts you in the blue trucks, and the blue trucks are good. It's just apparently the blue trucks were not available today, so that's why we got a white truck. Because there was no other blue trucks available, or they were in use, I think, for exams, and one wasn't working, one's an automatic, and we were doing manual, and... Yep. Um, yep. So, so we got stuck with it. Oh. You know, I tried to bargain that shit off to some other group, no one wants to touch them. Yeah, no way, dude. <laughs> I was like, when we had one, I was like, dude, never again. Never again, I'm yeah. not training with this shit. They, they only had it for one day? One day of, like, actual backing training. Well, yeah. driving the truck too. You only no, we, yeah, yeah, like one day. <laughs> yeah, for me, well, I, I had it for the, the first. Out of it. I had the first what four or five days of the fucking white truck, and then Bro, you had the blue shift. truck, and it's like, oh, yeah, I right. Shift. I was trying to. Put I missed in. every gear. Remember that the day? I don't yeah. know what day it was, but I missed ago? every fucking day, every shift, every shift. Yeah. I missed it. Ever since then, in a blue truck, I haven't. I probably missed. Two shifts since then. Right. And they're easy to get back. Oh, yeah. And I the just, white one, you miss I, it, I just you're miss fucked. it, and then I'm like, oh. <clears throat> I'm just like, ah, oh, vroom, you know, rev it. You get it no problem. Yeah, the white truck is laughing at you if you're missing gear. Yeah, like, ah, like, oh, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you might want to stop now. <laughs> yeah, you're fucked. Gotcha. So. It was shitty, dude. Yeah, that's why I, there was that, and I think I could use a little bit more work on my backing, on the offset backing. Probably the alley I owned did that twice yesterday. Four times? Three times. Yeah, Three we're, times. we're gonna get more training in it. The problem is there's there's teams of four. So they rotate people. And right. so like you only get a couple tries and then you get a break. You get like two tries and then you get a break. They get a couple more tries and then it's the end of the day. Right. Day goes by fast as fuck. It does. And we're out in the sun, that's why we're all fucking red and shit. Got to get a hat. Get a hat, guys. Mm-hmm. I should just took mine off. Can you have one? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so he this put way. he put ours next to me because I'm ready for eval. Oh, okay. So road eval, backing eval. That's what he. I, that's what he did for my in cab and LABs and uh, yeah. road as well. This motherfucker. Chuck Zito, that motherfucker. This isn't safety, Sorry. Mike. Safety first. Bitch won't let me over. Bitch but I get my money. <laughs> Anyways, sorry about that. Yeah, people don't like to like pay attention to blinkers. Right. But I was like flying today. I was going like 65. Yeah. Because he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, okay, all right, now go, go, go faster because we're getting on the highway. <laughs> right. I was like. Bro, <laughs> the pedals to the floor. <laughs> like, I can't go any faster. This is just it's like so cut off. as fuck. Right. I'm like, I'm going as fast as the thing will let me. So, I, yeah, I tried. But, yeah, it's fun as fuck. Oh, Sorry. man. The, the sun beats the fuck out of you. Oh, uh, yeah, because you can't. Yeah, you can't sit down or something? Yeah. You can sit down. Just they, I guess they don't want too many people sitting in the shade at once because it looks bad or looks like the trainers aren't doing their job or, or some some excuse I've heard like that, some variation of that. So oh, like me and Mike were just sitting down for a minute. I was grabbing some water and I got my instructor like calling us over like, you can't have too many people sitting down. Uh, yes. we get, he's like, we get in trouble for that as in they do, the instructors. Fuck no. So... You know what's funny? I leave my group. I come over to his group. Yeah. And we're just bullshitting and stuff. I go back when it's my turn. Like, fucking do it in two yeah. minutes. Nope. No help. Just boom. Get it in there. Boom. Come back. Hey, Mike. I'm done. Right. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's bullshit. You can't sit down. All My my whole team was sitting down. So I think it's like uh, per, per instructor, like how they view things. All right. The instructor I have is fucking phenomenal on the road. Um... They can use work on a couple things. Uh, PTI information, because the PTI information is not the same across the board. Um, and all 
also with the backing pad, um, like backing the offset and alley. I yeah. think he could do some work on teaching that. I mean, he's very nice, just, I don't know. I try and tell him I want to do it one way just to see, you know, since this is the time, since there are cones, and if I hit something, if I hit a cone, it's not going to, what, gonna it's five bucks to replace a cone if he breaks? The light is bright. Yeah. So, I mean. Yeah, it's rubber. It just right. flexes. Yeah. Boop, boop down. So, it's, right now is that time for me to actually hit shit. Like, so I learn. That's the way I learn, but you can't do it that way. Dude, you should just run along. <laughs> Fucking steamroll. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> right. He's like, he'll be like whistling. He's like, whoa, motherfucker. <laughs> Just fucked up your shit. Right. Got him. Uh, Fuck your cones. All right. Get your cones out of here. You uh, it up. Uh, uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much it for me, though. I did the offset. Got a little annoyed. I could use some work with that. Mike just uh, needs some sleep, dude. Yeah, probably. Every fucking day, we're waking up 4 o'clock. We're, like, half dead. Mike doesn't take naps. I'm barely living with naps. And, like, jujitsu has, like, destroyed my body. So, I'm, like, am I in a fucked up state right now? But he just doesn't sleep enough. So. Did you know the veteran say? Anyways. <laughs> Did you? We'll avoid that question. No, I didn't. So, oh, there you go. Why do you think I'm trying to avoid the question? What did you say? No. No. That's all. Of course I didn't take it. You didn't give them to me. Bro, I was like, they're barely alive. So, yeah. Let's try it. Try to live. <sighs> live and let live. Yep. So, just li listen to the instructors. Just pay attention to what they teach you. Um, don't, don't argue with them. Just do exactly what they teach you. They tell you... How, what to do, how to move it, what oh. to look for. Another thing about the white trucks, the mirrors don't fucking... Yes. They're not They're not lined up the way they need to be for that vacuum maneuver. Yeah. And when you said that, I was like, oh, like, I don't know how yeah, you I'm, I'm told it. to look at this point, look at this point. Yeah. Look at the point, but it's not showing up because the visibility is not right. there. Okay. All I was seeing was the trailer, not... I. Maybe saw the very bottom of the line there. You remember, remember when I was getting pissed about that, and I remember I was like, I was, it was lined up, but it wasn't. All right. I'm like, how's it? I'm like, I'm, I'm lined up where it is, where you told me to line up, but I, I failed. Right. Or I went too far or something. I was using those bottom ears because I couldn't see from the top ones. Right. I was trying to use the bottom ones. But, but you can't know. Yeah, no, they're it's so good. fucking small. And no, it's, no, no, they're just fucking. It's hard to they're judge too. Like, concave. Yeah, they're convex. Come back, so it's like, and, yeah, um, and they're they're a bad judge. Yeah, you can't you can't accurately see that shit. Like the sticker you have on most car mirrors, objects in mirror are closer than they appear. This one this one doesn't say, but it's like objects in mirror are closer and further than they appear. <laughs> it's both. It's both. No, it's like objects in, in the mirror are illusions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're not real. <laughs> yeah. So um, basically, the the passenger side mirror. It's so offset, it's just like, it's just bullshit. It's just bullshit. We the also, driver's side is good. But when you're go, when you're trying to look in the passenger side, you're like, what the fuck? I can't, like, you look at it and you just, it just fucks it up. It's, it's bullshit. We also had a recruiter come in today. Oh, uh, Warner. Sure Warner, that. that's right. Took part, of, oh, and there was a guy who jumped over the fucking highway. Holy shit. Yeah. Bro, and, he, and, he, and he's trying to... All right, so... Um, what right. how was that? I-4? Yeah, I-4. I-4 highway. So, where Roadmaster is, there's a highway, and it's I-4. And a dude, he literally, like, jumped down. I don't know if he, like, went down it's, the ramp. I don't know. But down, it, but it's, like, he a good down. 100 feet, It's a fucking... It's a jump. I don't know what happened there. But the cops came flying in. Fucking like swarmed them. They brought helicopters in here. A sheriff came in here. We had to start going inside. But I was like, not watching this. All right. Fucking dude. They got the guy. He's wearing this bright fucking red shirt. Yeah, I should have run. I'm like, some bro, bread. like, just take your shirt off. All right. You're trying to hide. Yeah, if you're trying to hide, like, just take your shirt off. What are you doing? All right. It was it was very strange. Um, 
Yeah, so that was interesting. Uh, and the recruiter, there's a Warner guy trying to recruit people. Oh, Warner's so great. You know, all this stuff. Right. Warner's probably a great company. I don't know. But it's just too much sales bullshit for me. I just don't right. like being so, so try sold on shit. Like, we have all this technology and stuff. Our trucks can do, you know, this, this, this. And I'm just like, That's your the trucks truck. that right. you purchased. Not like Warner Damn does building. this, builds a fucking truck with this technology. No, you bought a fucking truck and the trucks have this technology in them. Right. That's it. So any other company that has this truck has the same technology. Yeah. For the most part. I mean, the e-logging system is probably different. Uh, yeah, sure. Navigation, maybe. Like, their software. I don't know. But, I'm sure they're all a little different. But, uh, but ideally, it's the same. Good. Yeah. They all share intelligence. Like, roads right. and shit. Bridges. You know, clearances. They are all have the same stuff. It was funny when he mentioned something about the backup camera. Yes. Uh, the so I called that like yeah. last week. You're, you're like, we should just have backup fucking cameras with Bluetooth. Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, yeah, we're having this backup Bluetooth camera. And I'm like, yeah, you guys should have that like, I don't know, 25 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> no, Bluetooth's only been out, what, 15 years? So I'd say 10, 15, something like yeah. that. Sometimes I forget how old they are. But the Bluetooth was like a, a pan, a personal, personal area network. Yeah. Now, since it's switched over to like 802.11, uh -huh. it's actually can use the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. So it can actually uh, go fucking like throw up to 300 feet or 450 if it's using it. If it's AC, it can go up to like 1300 feet. It's not to be, it's not to be confused with a tooth that is blue. And you can only get blue tea from Smurfs. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, that was it's been a eventful day today. A lot of stuff going down. We had some fun. Just a um, combination between just constantly <laughs> driving, you know, just not much sleep. And the heat. And the heat. Just wanes on your soul. It's a big factor. It's like uh, crushes you. Because you're not always in the truck. And when you're in the, the lot or was it yard or whatever? Yeah, the yard. The yard, you're just fucking standing, standing in the sun because you can't be, you can't sit down. Yeah. Hey, you can sit My down. team sits down because I'm like, bro, don't you dare fucking tell me to fucking stand in the sun like a retard. Unless you want to teach me something like different. Right. But when I'm backing the shit in without your instructions properly, not hitting shit or doing gun outs on the lines, what are you gonna say? Right. You you need more instruction. Oh yeah? What did I fuck up? Oh nothing? That's right. I don't need more instruction. Check ass. You want to snarfle the Garthog? Go ahead, dude. I might actually ask uh, Craig what he would recommend other than the 45 thing. Because oh, um, I was saying how all trailers aren't the same. Right. So we were talking, uh, we were just talking about the offset backing. So there's, is that a cop or something? I don't know. Um, the offset backing, there's been like a few different methodologies that has been presented to us to accomplish the offset backing. And um, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Yeah, it's, it's tough, dude. It's not, not exact. Like the shit that they tell us to do, you know, you, 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 you go away from the side you're going to, you cut it to 45 degrees, you look in your mirrors, you see the landing gear. It should be pretty in the middle, but it depends on the landing gear. Some, some are closer together, some are further apart. So you want to probably get it to like 45, 50 degrees. Um, and then you cut it back the other way to straighten it out. Once you straighten it out back back the other way, you should see both cones in your mirror. If you don't, you should see at least a middle cone. So you can start straight line back at that up to whichever whichever side wheel. Uh, so basically the inside back wheel and in the, the line.
line you're going to, the middle line you're going to, should like match up straight up with the butted uh, tires right in the middle of those. And once you get at that point, that's the perfect pivot pivot position for you to now go turn right or whichever way you turn it, and then pivot around the center center cone to, to get it lined up properly. But once you get it pivoted around and you're maybe say you're crooked or you're off to one side, you can pull up. Just fucking pull up a little bit, you know, um, you know just whatever. If you're if you're a little too far left, you know, pull up left a little bit and then cut it straight and then pull up right. So you you fix you come so you're like here's a cone, here's your trailer, right? If you're too far left, you can pull up left. Your back end is will start coming up, up and around to the right. Because you pull up right, your back end is gonna go right and hit it, hit the cone, and you lose points. And that will be like an accident. So you just gotta like understand the positioning and the control of the trailer. You're just moving the, tra the trailer around, and shit. So like the, the the wheels in the back act as like little pivot points, just kind of rotating that. Around pretty cool it's very interesting it's really like strategic you gotta like they call it setup You're like most important things is a setup you gotta set it up with position before you know you start making your turns and everything and that's why you get out and look you look and you evaluate the trailer you understand the proper position like if the line goes up to the bottom or if you're doing the alley dock the line comes up in between the two tires in the back of the, the sliding tandem so you're checking that and, and you want to make sure everything's good all right am i good here how far away am i am i even on each side all right good now if i cut it right what's going to happen to my trailer if i cut it left what's going to happen to my trailer how would i fix this you know if i'm off one side you know just do it well how, you, you gotta like look at everything all the available options and they're pretty cool man it's just it's good stuff they teach you it all they just Go there, listen to them, talk to them. If you have questions, ask them. You know, like I had a question today. I said, hey man, I knew, I know what to do here. Like I pull up straight and then cut it back left and then put it in reverse and, and, and go back in the alley dock. That's, that's if you're getting too close to the inner cone, that's what you do. And I said, how do I know when to stop though? You know, like I wasn't sure. And he's just like, oh, you know, just pull it up, you know, eight to ten feet, you know, so you get 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 out, and then after like eight eight feet or like six six to eight feet, your trailer starts reacting. So once it starts like reacting and it's moving, then you can cut it back left, and then you can get a better position on it. So basically, you you just want the trailer to just slightly make an adjustment, and then you come back in. So, um, just ask questions. If you have any questions, anything at all, they're there for you. And a lot of, everyone, everyone seems pretty nice. The, the instructors are helpful in that, you know, they, they definitely make less money working there than they would, they driving. would driving. And they're good drivers. They're really good drivers. Uh, Not that guy. Not that guy. I am. The guy in front of us just fucking smacks him but yeah, dude, it's it's crazy. They they, they want to help you, so just just ask some questions. And they'll, they'll walk you through it. It's fun shit. But tomorrow, alley docking. So don't worry, dude. Get that shit done. Yeah. Get a different mindset going. Just relax. Say, all right, this is what I'm doing. Execute. Done. Be like Tom Brady. Laser focus. Laser focus execute at a high level championship level <laughs> that's all i got day nine review yep anything else mike no i don't that's pretty much it uh, a long day we, yeah well, we did a pti at the end of the day it was long yeah now we're actually still gonna be home time for you to make it if you want yeah all right see you guys well, till next time See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.